Bing Ads and ClickBank. How's it going? Jordan here from the Email Victory YouTube channel and in today's short video I'm going to share with you how you can direct link with Bing Ads and promote ClickBank products. And if you watch this video till the end, I'm going to reveal this campaign. I'm going to show you the exact product that I use, the exact keywords, and I'm going to share with you how I was able to generate a small profit from this campaign. Now, let's go back to my whiteboard and talk about Bing Ads and promoting ClickBank products. So the cool thing about Bing Ads is they allow you to direct link on their traffic platform to your affiliate products. Now, I want you to be careful because you need to follow Bing Ads advertising policy very closely because this is an easy way for your ad account to get shut down. Now, other than that, another caveat is when you're directly linking to affiliate products, you're going to be working with a very slim margin. So it's going to be hard for you to turn a profit, especially if you're a newbie in affiliate marketing. If you're a newbie, you're going to want to learn how to do email marketing because email marketing allows you to capture your traffic from here and build an email list. Now, this email list allows you to make more money later on down the road. And not only that, but allows you to make more money on the front end because not everyone is going to buy right when they see this offer. They might need a follow-up sequence for you to make more money on the back end. And that's why email marketing is so powerful. And if you want to learn how to build a profitable email marketing business, you're going to want to go to emailvictory.com and grab my free ebook on how to do just that. But if you insist on directly linking to affiliate products, don't worry, I have your back and I'm going to share with you how to do just that. Now, let's head on over to my Bing account. So here we are in my Bing ad account. And in order to direct link, you're going to need to have a campaign up and running. So I'm not going to teach you how to create a... Uh, campaign on Bing I'm gonna assume you already know how to do that but if you don't know leave a comment down below and I'll create a video on how to create a campaign on Bing but for right now I'm gonna assume you already know how to create a campaign so let's head on over to this campaign which is gonna be the case study that I'm gonna show you everything now in order to direct link you're gonna to go to your ads this is where you put in your link for Bing ads to send you traffic. So you're going to create an ad and when you create an ad they're going to ask for a final URL. Now this is where your usual landing page would go if you weren't directly linking. But since you're directly linking you're going to have to do a unique step. So we're going to head on over to ClickBank and act like we have an affiliate link. So let's find the product that I promoted and it was a keto product. So let's head on down and it was this keto product right here. So let's get my affiliate link. So I'm going to go to their affiliate resource page and whatever ClickBank ID you have, you're going to enter it here. I'm going to enter a fake ClickBank ID just for test purposes. So I'm going to put Jordan1111. Now, I'm going to uh, click this box and I'm going to pick the Simply Tasty Ketogenic ebook. So now this is my affiliate link. This is the link that I want people to click on so I can get credited for the affiliate sales, right? But on Bing, we're not going to put that account. So notice how it says final URL you're gonna need this URL to be the URL of the last place that the visitor ends up on. So if you don't know, affiliate links are basically, or tracking links in general are redirects, right? So they're gonna redirect the traffic to the final destination. And what you wanna do is take the URL of the final destination and paste it into ClickBank. So final URL, is going to be secure keto resources.org free ebook 
forward slash SDK. You can see that after I entered my uh, affiliate link into the bar, this is the page that I ended up on. I'm going to do that again just so it's clear. I'm going to copy this, paste it, and go. So this is my affiliate link, but notice that I ended up on this URL. So we're going to ignore everything after the question mark and we're just going to grab this URL because this is the URL that your traffic will land on and you're going to put it right here so you can see that it matches up now you might be thinking okay well I don't want to send this raw link traffic because I won't get credit that's where the tracking link comes in so when you add a tracking link into Bing this is essentially going to turn into a display URL so this is the URL that your visitors will see but when they click on the ad you're they're gonna be sent to the tracking URL and the tracking URL is where you can place your affiliate link so I use click magic so let's head on over to my click magic magic account and this is how you create a affiliate link on or a tracking link on click magic on primary URL you're gonna put your affiliate link paste so that's Oops, I need to grab this. Boom. So you're going to paste your affiliate link right here where it says primary URL. Now, you want to name this whatever you want to name. Name it. You can name it whatever. It doesn't really matter. This is for your tracking purposes. So I'm put uh, keto keto ebook, and then you're going to create your tracking link. I'm just going to use the basic click magic tracking link and then right here you can enter whatever subdomain you want it doesn't really matter because no one's gonna see this create your link and now you can see I have my free ebook link right here with zero clicks and now this is the tracking link that you're gonna put into uh, into your Bing ads so let's head on over to Bing ads go down and then where it says tracking template you're just going to copy and paste that link here I already have my tracking link so I'm not going to do that but once you hit save now this ad anytime someone clicks on your ad they're going to be redirected to your tracking link and on your tracking link your tracking link is going to redirect them to your affiliate link that's how you get the credit for this sale if they do decide to purchase and then your affiliate link will redirect them to the final URL and obviously the final URL matches with Bing ads and that's what they care about that's what they want the final, uh, final URL to match so they know that their traffic is going to the right place so after you do that you just save I'm not gonna save and then you do that for every single ad so if you're split testing ads which I highly recommend you're gonna wanna uh, change the tracking link in every single one be sure to do that because if you don't there can be an ad where you're just sending traffic straight to the offer without being credited for it so that's how you direct link on Bing ads now let's talk about the campaign that I promise you to I promise to uh, break down so I'm gonna delete this link that I created and you can see the importance of tracking is because when you click this link right here you can see it tracks every single click I got from what keyword I was targeting so if you don't know Bing ads you bid on keywords so you find keywords that you want to bid for or put your message in front of and depending on what keywords get clicked it depends on what ads get seen but I'm not going to explain how Bing Ads works right now. Just know that you choose keywords to bid on. And then when your bid is high enough and Bing, someone on Bing searches for that keyword, they see your ad, they click on your ad, and your ad goes to your affiliate offer. I hope that wasn't confusing. But basically, how you get traffic from Bing Ads is by choosing keywords and you want to pick keywords that are close to the buying cycle so let's go back to my Clickbank I was promoting this free 
ketogenic ebook, right? And obviously, the people that would want this ebook are people that are typing the keyword keto cookbook in Bing or keto recipes in Bing. So, what I did was I made a small list of keywords, and I'll show you the keywords. They're right here. So you can see I was bidding for ketosis cookbook, best keto recipes, best keto cookbook, uh, so on, so on, keto recipes, keto cookbook. So those were all the keywords I was bidding on, and I was bidding uh, for a dollar a click. Now, this is why it's so important to track, because not each of these keywords are going to perform the same. And this is why you need to track and learn how to optimize your data. So the cool thing about Click Magic, it tracks how many clicks each keyword got. So I created a sub ID to track. I created two. Oops. Let me go back. So I created two sub IDs to track. One was the keyword phrase and the other one was the uh, device. So it was either mobile, computer, or tablet. I wanted to see if uh, certain computer type or device types perform better than the others. So you can see that even though the overall campaign got me a earnings per click of 32 cents, if you scroll down, you can see that not all the keywords were getting me traffic. And the one that was getting me the most traffic that was costing me the most amount of money because remember I'm paying a dollar a click roughly so this keyword was getting me around a dollar a click but it was only earning me three cents so this was a horrible keyword for me and this keyword was getting most of my budget from Bing but if you look over here keto cookbook the uh, tablet and computer was performing phenomenal. I was getting a dollar and twenty cents uh, earnings per click on these keywords. So obviously, these two keywords were making me the most money, and keto recipes was costing me the most money. So that's why it's so hard to make money direct linking affiliate offers because most people do not know how to track properly, and they don't even want to go into tracking. Right, Most people, if they don't want to create a landing page, they don't want to learn how to track. And the thing is, I want to be transparent with you. If you're going to direct link, you need to become a really, really good affiliate that can track everything and optimize their, ad, uh, optimize their ads. Because that's the only way you're going to be able to make money directly linking to affiliate products. You need to become so good at analyzing data and optimizing your data and I'm just being transparent because I want to give you as much value as I can in this video and I hope you're getting a ton of value because not a lot of people will reveal campaigns like this especially on a public on YouTube of all places so you can see that I was able to make money on the keto cookbook keyword and if we go to my ad account you can see this is keto cookbook right here this keyword I was paying my average cost per click was around 80 cents so if we go back to my whiteboard I would pay 80 cents for every click so that would cost me money I would be out of pocket 80 cents a click but on average I would earn so EPC is earnings per click I would earn a dollar and twenty cents. So this is positive. So at the end of the day, every click I would be richer by forty cents. So that that keyword alone was making me forty cents for every time someone clicked on it essentially. Now, your job as an affiliate marketer is to find these honeypots. So this was just one keyword. If we look back in my account, this was just one keyword that was getting me all my sales. Your job is to find as many of these keywords that you can turn a profit, especially if you're advertising on Bing. It's to track and find as much keywords as you can that give you a profit. So you want to spend less than you earn on your clicks. 
And that's how you make money by directly linking to uh, ClickBank products. Now, you have to understand that this this keyword might only get 500 clicks a month. So you're going to be uh, capped at how much this keyword can make you. Obviously, I wish I could just start spending $1,000 on this keyword and start making a ton of money overnight. But there's only so many people searching for this exact keyword on Bing. And there's only a certain amount of people that are going to click on the ad. So there's a limit to how much one keyword can make you. So your job is to find as many keywords as you can that's making you a profit. And that's how you're going to get away with direct linking on Bing ads and promoting ClickBank products. Now, I hope you got a ton of value from this video. I know I was all over the place. I was... Uh, it's really hard trying to explain so much information within a few minutes because I know not a lot of people want to pay attention to long YouTube videos. So I try to make these videos short, sweet, and digestible. And I have might have skipped over some points. So if I did and you need help with something, let me know in the comment section below so I can make a video dedicated to that one topic and I can help you out a ton, a a bun, a and so I can help you out so much better. And again, I highly, highly recommend against this strategy, especially if you're a newbie in affiliate marketing. If you're intermediate or advanced, uh, obviously I say go for it. But if you're a newbie trying to start an online business, I really recommend you get that free ebook at emailvictory.com is going to show you how to start a profitable online business through email marketing and you're going to succeed so much better through email marketing than trying to direct link from Bing ads to ClickBank products but if you do want to do that I wanted to give you enough value so you can and be successful with this strategy other than that I hope you like this video if you did give it a like it helps me grow my channel and it helps me create more content, even better content for you. And also subscribe to the Email Victory YouTube channel if you like videos like this so you don't miss out on any new videos when I release them. Other than that, thanks again for watching, especially this far. If you did, you are the real MVP and I really appreciate you. I'll catch you on the next video. Take care. Bye.